video and you're trying to install your router or get into it, you're going to be very happy you did because I spent about five hours of my life that I'll never get back and I'm making this video so you don't have to. So you have a router right now. It's down here on the floor. This is to get in any router. It works on almost 90% of them if not all. If you have a used one, you're going to want to reset that and hold it down for about 15 seconds. 20 seconds wouldn't hurt. That's a reset button right there. Look for a little button somewhere that either says reset or you have to push a little pinhole. And then you'll see your modem reset. This is a router modem in one, Motorola. I actually hooked it up with Comcast and they would not help me because I bought my own. Guess what? They want you to buy theirs or rent theirs. We're not doing that. So in order to, I got it all connected. And what I did is if your model number is different, which it's going to be, there's my model number. SBG6580 and what I did is I went in my search bar and I put how to log in Eris SBG6580 and what popped up was instructions for that and it says enter admin in the username field and enter Motorola in the password so now you know how to get in there Got and then that right there I'm going to click into that to go in because there's more information you need Here's what you're looking for to get into the router. It is right there. And what it says is 192.168.0.1. It's going to be very similar to mine. Yours is going to be. So you're going to go to the search bar. Usually they all start with 192.168.1.1 or dot, you know, or dot one, dot two, or dot three. They're very similar. So you're going to type that in there. And we're going to hit enter now you are into the modem um, instructions and software so remember what it said it says username admin so I'm going to type in admin admin and then for your password Motorola could be very confusing because you would think it's going to be your password for your Wi-Fi network now you're you're into the system and it says manage Wi-Fi networks gas parental controls, you could do all kinds of stuff from here. Click on manage Wi-Fi. It might ask you, sometimes it'll ask you to enter what we just did again. This time it didn't. <clears throat> Network name, SSID. I put my own name in there. So I put just my last name, Salmo, S-A-L-M-O. And anytime you make changes, you're gonna have to hit apply. But this is probably, if you're watching this video, this is what you're looking for, is pretty much network name. So you can have your name when you go to Wi-Fi networks and you're going to want to know where to do your password and they have mine as passphrase so I put my cell phone number in there and don't copy that just kidding but I put my cell phone number in there hit apply you click on it as long as it saves it sometimes it gets a little glitchy where I had to do it again and again about the second time it worked yours might not do that so then when you click over here on the Wi-Fi networks it is then changed and where am I right here oh I'm already logged in SALMO right there I'm logged in but when you click on it, it'll ask you for your password and all that. So, so all you have to do is hit apply. So I just showed you guys how to log into any modem router. Pretty simple. You got to do your little bit of research to find out how to get into it on the internet. And once you have all that, now I've showed you how to get into it and set up your name and password for your Wi-Fi. So thanks for watching. All I ask is you give me a thumbs up and hope this video helped you out. I know it will.